What's your favorite Star Wars film? Ah, uh, shit. You know what? Uh, Hit me with it. That's a good question. Is it mine? Phantom Menace? Is it? No, you know, I, I would say Phantom Menace is very uh, underrated. I, I think I people agree. give it a lot of uh, a lot of shit, but it's, it's not a, Yeah, you know, it's not a bad I mean, yeah, maybe we can do it without Jar Jar, but maybe a little less Jar Jar. But, um, I don't know. Episode 4 is good. The classic A New Hope. Yeah. Actually, I'd probably have to go with that one. You know? A New Hope? Yeah. What's your favorite, or what's your uh, least favorite? Least favorite? Is it The Lost Jedi? <sighs> nah. Nah. Force Awakens for sure. Why? Why? Because it was basically, it was basically Episode 4, but like... It was with, a rehash. It was essentially a rehash. I know, I had the same exact thoughts, so people really let that slide, I'm like, that's plagiarism. You, right, you feel me? Yeah, you feel, I feel you. I, you know, I'm like, it's it's cool, I guess. It's kind of they bullshit. Play, they played the same, same they played the same route of like, we want to give Star Wars something, you know, because we bitch a lot, us fans, we bitch a lot. Sometimes okay, we that, buy. You know, but... <laughs> Especially Other than that, it. I would say they played it too safe. Way too safe. What do you think about Mark Hamill saying that he felt like it was bullshit how they treated his character? He said that he disagreed fundamentally with every choice Ryan Johnson made. Should Ryan Johnson have listened more to Mark since he's had like 30 years of experience? Yeah, my sizes yeah you know, I think what it is, it's a. Uh, it essentially, the way he kind of bells literally goes backwards, I guess you could say. Like everything that he was leaning towards, it's kind of just like, alright, I'm gonna bail out, kind of deal with this on your own. So, yeah, I kind of don't agree with it, uh, especially they're just gonna bring him back as like a force ghost in episode 9. Like, at that point, that. That was late. yeah, you know, like at that point, I don't know, I feel the same way with like Princess Leia. Flying rest through space. Peace. Yeah, rest in peace. And I'm like, rest in peace. we should have just let her, I hate the poor choice of words, but we should have just let her die off. Yes. So, yeah. I concur, Mary Poppins Leia was absurd. <laughs> did you know that uh, Solo lost a hundred million dollars? I did not know that. You know what, actually, all things considered, I enjoyed Solo. I did well, watch it. <laughs> that makes I, it pretty Yeah, good. you know, yeah, you're right. Darth, Darth Maul cameo is always good. No, I, I enjoyed it. Have um, no, you? Yeah, you, you, yeah, all right. Fair it's true. Nah. It's true. <laughs> no, I enjoyed it. I, I didn't think it was as bad as people thought it was. Um, but it's just, it was unnecessary. Like, no one asked for it, you know? Uh, for, Nobody else. If we wanted an origin story, maybe Obi-Wan would have been cool. They got the kibosh. They put a kibosh on that because they uh, solo lost 100 million. Last year they had some negativity, and yeah. they're, they're kind of pulling some of the movies. Does that disappoint you? Uh, yes and no. The Old Republic's really dope, so I'm kind of excited that they're taking that on. But it's the Game of Thrones guys are doing. That's my that's my concern. It's, uh, not necessarily that they weren't great writers, because up until like, season eight, they, they did well. Mm -hmm. But it's, I guess you could say the way they kind of neglected Game of Thrones <laughs> makes you kind of wary really? of how they're going to treat, you know, how they're going to treat the Old Republic uh, trilogy. But I'm just, I mean, I'm excited. You know, if they if they give it the care that they were giving Game of Thrones prior to like being rushed to start writing uh, that trilogy, then I think they'll be alright. Did you know actually the creators of Game of Thrones were set to appear here at Comic Con? And they pissed out. And they bailed out. How do you, you feel know, about that? You know, bit, uh, hey what's man, going you, guys, on? you guys are trying to get me some. You're trying to get me in trouble, but nah. Um, I think it's really lame that they bailed out like two days before their panel was supposed to happen, and then they kind of let the rest of the actors kind of deal with it, you know? Which I don't agree with the boon either, because it's not their fault, you know? And of course, if they put like eight years into their rap, like they're not going to not defend it. You know, uh, so I think it's kind of lame that people are doing them, but it's ultimately it's a pretty disappointing end to, to what was a really good series. You know? Would you like to see different leadership? Like maybe we take Kathleen out and put someone in. It's different. Mm, I don't think it's gonna matter as long as as long as Disney owns. You know, everything everything kind of has its set not set agenda, but it's it's standards. I guess. It's, uh, did you feel like Ray uh, should have actually had some you know, training in the first two movies? And maybe she would have got some criticism from the Mary Sue they actually had training. Yeah. They go yeah. back to back, it's like a 24 hour change between the first and second film. So she's basically yeah, a god. Yeah, like I don't know where. Hours. I guess, you see, and that's the, that's the conflict with having like, a bunch of different directors for all the movies. It's because it seemed like in episode 7 they were building up this storyline of like. Anybody is capable of like harnessing the force, I guess you could say. So, in the, which feels like it's like the old days. 
Right, right, right. right. So you don't have to be a Skywalker. Yeah, in order, exactly. You know, you, you were a Jedi or, you know, like... But you need training. Right. So I think that's what it was. It's that transition of everybody's capable of it. But then you go back to episode 8 where it's like, but no one else is displaying any signs of the Force. Like, I thought maybe that's what they were going to build into, but then it just turned out to be another Skywalker story. So it's like, no. Can you really call it the Skywalker trilogy? He's not in the first one, he's barely in the second, and he's dead. I want to say... Like he got punched. He did, but... I, and, and that's the worst part about it, is that he doesn't have a big role in episode 8 and 9, but at the end of the day, it's still very skywalker central. You know what I mean? So it's, it doesn't really make sense to give him such a minor role. You bring him back as a force ghost, but it's like... That's, kind of insulting you know, to a legendary character. Low-key, yeah. Uh, very low-key, not cool guy. It's not cool. Uh, if you could make your own Star Wars film, and Lucas film would make it, what do you want to see now? Do you, you know, I think a more in-depth look at the Clone Wars would be cool. Like the cartoon series is really dope, but live action would be cool. Uh, again, I'm really excited for the Old Republic. Like I think if they if they were to do like the Dark Revan storyline, that would be dope. You know, I doubt. So. He doubts it, but Darth Revan would be shit. Is there anything you want to say to the Star Wars fans out there? Yeah. Um, we bitch a lot. Don't bitch, man. We just we all have to accept that the best thing about Star Wars is the expanded universe and not the writing of the movies itself. So like, let's just enjoy the nerd dumb that is, is it, Star Wars. You know? Is it okay to have constructive criticism though? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Like I mean, Mary Poppins, nothing is like the Green Mill. Like, yeah. No, no, yeah. Like that for sure. Things like that. You know, like the whole. Princess Leia flight through space. What was that? We can definitely criticize things like that, but I think overall, if we just accept the truth that Star Wars, whether it's George Lucas writing, whether it's Rian Johnson writing, has not had great writing, we can enjoy them. Fair enough. Have you been to Galaxy's Edge? I have not. No. I, I used to have a Disney Pass for like three years, and then I... It just got too expensive. Honestly, I'm kind of on an anti-Disney thing right now, despite being on... Well, well, did you know that the crowds are actually very sparse right now because they raised out. the prices right before Galaxy's Edge opened? Yeah, so they raised prices and then they blocked out a bunch of vehicles. They did? So, yeah, Tell so me about that. They basically have like four tiers of the passes now. And it used to be where if you had the signature, you didn't have any blockout dates, but now it's a signature and a signature plus. I don't know what a blockout date is. Uh, basically, it's when uh, pass holders aren't allowed to so Yeah, so Disney's been trying to find a way to control the crowd. And so far, their solution has passed like five years to make these prices. But up until this point, it hasn't really been effective. So right now, I wouldn't say it's so much the price jump. Um, although that does affect it, it's more so that a lot of the households are blocked out. But you will see it's going to be super packed once, once uh, summer ends. Like, it's still going to be very, very packed. So. Do you think that maybe the interaction between the filmmakers and the fans, like, maybe they should stay out of the fights? Because I know Ryan Johnson, and I think Pablo Vidal got, got, got into, like, Twitter back and forth with fans. I think that's maybe not a good idea, and they should just kind of, like, rise above that and just kind of, like, not interact as much as possible. Like, it's a video. What do you think? You know, I think it just kind of depends on how they how they go about it. Because if you look at the like Russell brothers, the uh, Russell brothers, they handle it pretty well. You know, on Twitter. Yeah. Um, but speed. then, yeah, but then you look at the like the Amazon writers, who just kind of completely ditched out the panel. You know, so it's like a lack of a response is also pretty insulting because we are kind of what makes this franchise is happening. You know? Absolutely. So we definitely shouldn't be ignored, but I think there's there's a way of going about it. Listen to the fans. Yeah. 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 Listen to the fans. <laughs>